So let's assign something to our kick drum at insert. Um, so long as our kick drum is selected, as I've done, uh, we can come over here to the TFT screen, and it's already got our insert page up. It shows us our first four inserts. If you have more than four, you can hit the page button, and it'll show you more. Um, so let's insert. Let's assign. I don't know. Let's find something here. We'll push the assign button, and we'll find everything in your plugin folders, all in a row, alphabetically. Very convenient. Uh, so let's see. I don't know. What do we want to put on here? Um, let's put on the purple. Push the button. So now, if we want to edit the plugin, we've assigned it now. So we come out of the assign window and we push the button that says purple 1176. And here's all of our parameters. So now we're turning, again, turning knobs and making records, not mousing around. Um, if we want to see the plugin on the screen, we can push the alt button. And if we turn the knobs here, we can see the knobs moving on the screen as well. And on the TFT screen, if we have more than four parameters, which of course we will, we can page through them with the page buttons. Um, and in addition to these four knobs, they're push-push, as you've seen. So we can push if there's any kind of switches involved with your plugin, like if you're on a Waves EQ or you know any, any kind of thing that's going to have buttons and knobs, most of them will be by, by pushing this, the knob on the screen. So pretty straightforward, of course, automatable just like you would in Pro Tools, but now you can grab knobs instead of playing with a mouse. So very straightforward again.